up there. If a university starts down the same trail, as tech, as you MIT can't did. tell when it when it passes <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Sometimes it hits bottom. Oh well, yes. <laughs> <coughs> now I have another question uh, that bears on my first one somewhat indirectly. I was a, one of Stark's very early customers. I uh, took his course 38, 39, and I call him uh, the experience is one of the most uh, memorable of my life, along with the I'm sure with the uh, bush lecture <laughs> that I spoke about earlier. And I've followed him all through the years. I, I saw him last January when I was up here. What you're asking is how do you manufacture more leaders? How do you manufacture drapers is what I was going to come I, to. I might add to that that Stark was one of my students. Was he? And I'll never forget him. <coughs> Sorry. It was a course in advanced mechanics. And uh, he would sit there and he would ask questions occasionally. But I was made a point of, of uh, giving the group every week uh, a set of problems to do. And I uh, spent quite a lot of time on those problems. I went through all the old standard uh, books on mechanics and so on, so these were quite difficult. Mm -hmm. But uh, they would come back, the answers, and usually each one was just a <coughs> two or three paragraphs and sent to, so a short page or two. A draper, every time, would usually come back 10 or 15 pages. Mm. And each, he'd take each problem and he'd discuss it and work it out and all the things. <laughs> I used to have to spend as much time doing, doing correcting his papers as I did all the rest of the class. Oh my. <laughs> but I've never forgotten him and never. Well, one of the stories about Stark was that he and an associate did. Incidentally, you know who his first graduate student was? No. Jim Fisk. Oh, I didn't know that. <coughs> Jim got his degree in aeronautical engineering, and then after a year with Draper, he went to Cambridge on a fellowship, became a physicist. I didn't know that. This is Jim Fisk? Jim Fisk. I didn't know that. Jim told me that. Hmm. Wasn't he in guy. physics for part of the time? Yes. Hmm? Yes. He was in physics part of the time. No, he switched to physics after his degree in aeronautics. Because I know what we have. Well, he, he, had moved, had yeah, too. he may have moved around, yeah. sure. Stark, yeah. after all, moved yeah. around. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know, Jim had a lab in the in building eight, but I was an undergraduate. Yeah. Uh, Terry, I think the time has probably come where you ought to ask everybody what we have to ask them. <laughs> uh, how do you make drapers? No, how do you make drapers? I, I just like to uh, tie what uh, I said earlier into what uh, into what I said about Stark. Stark, uh, I count Stark as the father of information engineering. He calls his discipline information engineering. Not many other people do, but he does, and he reaffirmed that when I visited him in January. And he also reaffirmed that he has a view of established engineering approaches that is, in my experience, unique. And he has a very, very low opinion of what are called engineering approaches outside the Draper lab and outside of what he calls information engineering. And I would say this, that uh, the computer systems in the post-war period and the combination of computer and communication systems have not been engineers. They've simply grown. I don't refer to yours, but I refer to virtually all others. That they are extrapolations <coughs> of adaptations of scientific computers that were made in the early 50s. And some of the you know, <coughs> <improvisations coughs> extrapolation has been brilliant, but it has not been engineering. <laughs> I told Stark in public to his face, your success is 98% built on your stubbornness. <laughs> <laughs> your absolute unwillingness to stop what you were doing. <laughs> and he smiled. <laughs> they agreed with you. Throw something at me. It's true. <clears throat> what questions should we answer before we wrap up? The, the Recreation of engineering is the how, how do we recreate engineering? Recreation or procreation. <laughs> recreate involves, and then it involves both. Then yes. procreate what we recreate. How can we bring about the engineering of computers? I think it depends on good teaching in the universities as much as anything. Well, Dedicated <clears throat> teaching. 
if you wait for we the have university. Too many professors who are not interested in teaching undergraduates mm -hmm. in right. all departments. Too but many. You're in the situation. When I came to the physics department, there were five, four full professors, believe it or not, about six associate professors, of which Julius was one, and then assistants and then instructors. Every damn one of those full professors and associates taught freshman and sophomore courses. So yeah. Just a section, maybe. But they stayed in contact with the young students. Slater, yeah. the great Slater, he always had a freshman class. Every one of us had 801 or 803. That's right. And uh, where is that today? It ain't there. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. doubt if it's true in any other department. That's happening in the whole school system. Nobody wants to. No. Good teachers want to go into the high school. Well, then look at the goddamn catalog. There are 8,000 courses in it. And what are 7,900 of them? They're the professor's own specialty. <laughs> <laughs> Which might be fine, but often isn't. Well, something has to be done. Well, well, I commission you to carry out this project. <laughs> <laughs> I've been visiting MIT periodically ever since I graduated and uh, probing what can be done to get the efforts on computers redirected, straightened up, and uh, bring about recognition that what we call computer science is not a science. It's a, an amalgam of things that have grown up, which are themselves improvisations. And it's time that something be done about it. Yeah. In the patent field, they have what the lawyers call a motion, a motion for discovery. And it seems to me that in the teaching, one of the things I think we're hinting at is that the value is discoverable people and cultivate, find out how to cultivate them and not to think of just... Well, also here, we have a, too much of a habit of hiring our own people. And um, I think we ought to broaden it a bit. Even if we do turn out the best, we ought to bring in some more from the outside than we do. That's right. Yeah. I had the pleasure of hearing Bill Norris speak a couple of weeks ago, and then the pleasure of being with Jay yesterday and last Friday, both from Nebraska, <laughs> both from the farm, and both from farms where they had a tough row to hoe in their youth, and uh, we need more of that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank you. Very so. useful. Session, though, I think well, really brought back, the one of us back into the, that early period. Not very much on this. Uh, 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 I said some. Oh, harsh thank you very much. Good. Things that might be harsh. This, <laughs> and I got what I wanted from it. I don't care if you leave it all in at all. all in the <laughs> unless you do what I suggest. I you for not Make up some short film for general viewing. That's exactly what that said. We won't use this for any purpose except library archives. Without our special without our permission. I encourage you to yeah. make some special films. Absolutely. And then I'd like to work with any yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll probably have to go enough to get that. I might have, have said something. something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just start off. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. nice yeah. to yeah. yeah. be together. Do you want to over this thing? Yeah. Well, let's Let's find out. Oh, good. Well, that's my soul. Uh, You've seen those before. Oh, I haven't filled in one of these for 15 years. It'll be cheap coming up because I wrote on Polaroid. Uh -huh. It's expensive going he back. Think, uh, no, you don't have the money. money. I still have money in my account. We have to use it. It's probably proper. I know it's probably. I have enough money. Look, money. we're not talking about propriety. We're talking right. about money. Money? Well, we're going to run out. Uh, before we make those yes, films you're talking about, we're going to have to get those funded anyhow. Maybe I will do this. I haven't had time to read this yet. Shall we sign this right? Uh, oh, uh, if you want to take it back and send it in, you can. But uh, when is he with it? What's the date? Well, I'll send it back then. Today is the 12th. Yes. Send it to you? Send it to me, yes. You're not talking about where they got material. Yeah. Nancy Stern. Has in her book some I'll take it just to question a question whether I'm thinking back something I don't want to send. Yeah. But this is going in the. Uh, this goes in the archives. I, I, that's all right. Yeah. And if it's going to be published, so I, then we have to get your permission for all right. that's it. Not restricted. That's what your mind says. I better look at it. Yeah, by all means. Is that two pieces?
Is that right? Yeah. I don't know if you've been borrowing much of that. I haven't seen that for yes. years. It's the last one I borrowed. Too. When was that? What's the date? It, that's funny. There's no data on it. Oh, wow. Uh, 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 MRL, did you borrow the library loan or something? He didn't learn much about computers, but maybe he no, learned about this us. No, this is what we wanted. This is yeah. the, the yeah. period. Yes, this is what it is, yes. It caught, Who are these fellows? It caught the, the atmosphere so out of the whirlwind effort group. I would disagree. Let's go back to the far west. It's hard to throw out from here. Today is the 12th. Well, it, it's still legal if you sign it the 11th. I'll sign it with the city of New York. Oh, this is a... Yeah, Christmas the present from the unspoken president of Allegheny Ludlam. I will fill it. Yes. Five dollar bills is eighteen ninety. And why are they restricted to fourteen? Because it's very good. Put a value on it, sir. Two and a half dollars. I have a lot of money up. They confirm your credit. Make them up into a nice piece of paper. I see. Nothing new. Coming up four, four or five months. So well, we should be able to see some of these things. I was wondering. Nice to see you. See you Monday night. Monday night. Oh, yeah. These sustaining fellows dinner. Oh, were you going? I had. Yeah, I think you told me. I didn't really need me. I could give a little history. No, I'll come down and spend some time with Wiles' operation. You were on the committee. I wouldn't call him. Yeah. Open the wife's. Yeah. I just don't like to leave her. No, no. No, I can't come that night because.